Hey guys, I know it's been a minute, and I'm sorry for the crappy camera, but there's a story behind it. I, as you probably can tell, am in the Bahamas right now. And what had happened was I caught a flight with my mom, and we came on Bahamas Air, which is not a flight of my choice. And the stewardess was like, oh, um, you need to put your handbag in the, under the seat. And I don't ever do that, you guys. I always put my handbag up overhead because if anything falls out, then that way I know, you know, that it's in there, it's in the bin. And she was like, no, you can't put it up there. So I was like, okay. I put it on the seat and I was sitting next to the kid and apparently I took a nap and when I woke up, my bag was turned on its side. So I didn't pay any mind to it because I think, okay, my bag fell out. the next to the kid. Kid probably kicked my bag. It's okay, whatever. And... Come to find out, after I got down through Bahamas Customs, my cell phone's missing. So I went to the, what is it, it's like an area where you go and report your things lost or stolen, and it was me and another, and a tourist who was like, well, our phones are missing, and so guess whose phone they found? Hers, and not mine. So my phone's gone. I know it's, it's basically stolen. Basically it's gone. So I'm recording on a Samsung that I have, and I don't know if it's good quality, but I also found, let me show you, I also found my old GoPro, like legit, like it's really old, it's like the first GoPros ever that came out, and I had it sitting in a bin or my bag or whatever, I just never used it, so now I'm going to be forced to use it, um, I have to go get, this is a neighbor's dog, really? It's like anytime he hears me talking or somebody talking, he starts to bark. But I'm going to have to get a ugh, USB, not USB, the card, like a proper card for it to use it. So that's great. So this is the smoothie that I'm doing. I'm doing mangoes. As you can see, mom sent me some mangoes from our house in Andrus. So I had like eight of them. They're all gone now. So I'm doing mangoes, some ice and some kale and an old banana. I got a couple ripe right there, so I took a couple and put them in here. So that's what I'm going to be drinking today. So good for you. <laughs> it looks horrible. Oh my goodness, that's, that's not pretty at all. It tastes good though. But I'm gonna drink this and I have some eggs and some Johnny KD. I've also got some packages. Some packages that I need to open that I got sent and I'll check those out after I've eaten my breakfast. Ugh, the rain is down. I was hoping that it would have held off for most of the day, but it's really raining out there. Okay, so I put some stuff on my face, nothing major. Um, just some foundation and some mascara and some lip gloss. This is Max Narcissus. This is my backup Narcissus I bought a while ago. So I'm going to jump right into my packages because I'm really excited to open these. And I got the knife turned the wrong way. And I picked these up yesterday because they were in customs for a while. And this is hard. Okay. Got it. Okay, Sigma sent me this. And what happened was they're in customs for a while because, I mean, in the Bahamas, it seems to be a little bit harder to be a YouTuber because they charge you taxes twice on things coming in. So it's like an import duty you pay and then it's a value added tax you pay. So if something costs like a dollar and the customs duty on that is 45%. You pay 45% of a dollar, and then they add that, whatever that 45% of the dollar is, like what, 45 cents plus a dollar, and then they take the VAT from that dollar plus your customs duty, and then that's the VAT. So you're paying VAT on the price of the item plus the customs duty, and plus you're paying the customs duty on its own. So it's a whole lot of money that you have to pay. Now let's see. It says, hi Alex, hope you're, you heart your new mascaras. Can't wait to see your review. All right, thank you so much, Elizabeth. And what's this? 
just some stuff and then some more stuff this is just promo stuff of brushes where is it oh okay here we go and uh that's dark okay oh so they sent me three of the new Sigma mascaras. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to try these. I heard so much about them. High caliber lash. What's this one? The Sensuosity, whatever that is. And the Monumental. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to try those. So that's it from Sigma. And then I think this one is Nigel's. I'll save that for later. And this one is, I see Royal, so that's from Royal and Lannickel. They sent me some stuff. Oh, this is hard with one. <laughs> okay. It's like once you get one part off, the rest is, you can do it your own. Okay. So, ooh. Ooh, yes. Okay. This is Love is Trusting from Royal and Land Nickel. That's cute. Okay. And they also sent me... This is their... Oh my goodness, this is their Revolution collection. I have a couple of these brushes already in my Pro Kit. So I'm excited about this. This is so cool. And they sent me... What is this? Like a little bag? Like a Royal and Land Nickel bag? Oh, that's nice. It's a zippered... Oh, it's like... um. You can put your coal stuff in here and it stays. That's awesome. And I guess that's a note. Oh my gosh, enjoy your brushes. Thank you, Royal and Land Nickel. That's so cool. I'm excited. Okay. This other box is from Nigel's Beauty. And I bought these because I wanted some new stuff for my kit. And I'm making a mess. What I got is the RCMA, oh, this is the Ben Nye Mojave palette. Okay. Ah, I'm making the biggest mess. There's so much cork in here. What is going on? Okay, let me open this. So I finally got it open. What I got is three things. I got the RCMA palette, and this is, I think, the VK10. And it's basically supposed to be the yellow foundation. <gasps> Oh, oh, that's so pretty. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to play. Okay, I'm going to close that. Sorry for blinding you. And then I got the RCMA No Color Powder because I really want to test to see if it actually is like no flashback and things like that. So I got the small one. And then I got the Benai Mojave Palette. Now this is basically their banana powders and stuff pressed. So let's see these. Oh, those are pretty. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. Those colors are gorgeous. It's basically the press version, so you don't have to, you know, be carrying around a bunch of loose powders. Oh, that's cool. Okay, great. I'm excited about those. So those are all the packages that I got, and I'm really excited about the stuff that Rolla Land Nickel and Sigma sent me, so I can't wait to take some pictures and play with these. Some more. And the power went out. So, we have no power. Yeah, it's, it's common. But I'm really, really excited about everything that I got from Nigel's Beauty Emporium. Like, it makes you want to shop there more because of the Pro Artist discount. What I'm insanely excited about is the Ben Nye uh, Media Pro HD palette. I am really, really excited about this. I keep touching it because... I want to swatch it so bad, but I have to take pictures for my blog, which I revamped and which is what I've been really working on for the past couple of weeks. Because um, I started and stopped, started and stopped, and I just, I'm trying to fall back in love with writing. Like, writing never leaves you once you're a writer, but sometimes it gets really hard to get back in the groove of writing and being consistent with writing. Um, but I think I'm going to spend most of my day trying to find a whiteboard to take my pictures on for the blog because the, out, the, the outlay of it is white. You're going to see it if you go to MissBeautyBunny.com. I'm going to put the link down in the description bar. 
the outlay of it is white so I need everything to be as clean as possible if that makes sense for now I'm working with what I have um, but I need to go and find a whiteboard somewhere today just a piece of white probably like a cork board and not so much cork cork but like a cork board thick enough that it's not flimsy to reflect the light back off of it so that I could get a better picture and a cleaner picture um, overall for the vlog so that's what I want to do today if Nicholas would get off his butt and feed me because I'm starving I'm hungry it's like two o'clock in the day I haven't eaten breakfast I had eat breakfast. I haven't eaten since breakfast. See, that's how hungry I am. I can't even make clear, concise sentences right now. But yeah, I'm excited about my palettes from Nigel's Beauty Emporium. And I can't wait to shop there again and see what else there is that I need to throw into my kit. Which I'm not going to go full blast freelancing yet because we still have to figure out what we're gonna do because we're going on a cruise in October I'm excited about that it'll be my first ever cruise if you guys have ever been on a carnival cruise let me know how it was for you so we chose carnival because it's basically one of the more known um cruise things that does cruises so after carnival we'll probably pick another cruise line like Norwegian or um I think the next one is Windstar or something like that, but there are a ton of other um, cruise companies. But we wanted to do Carnival first since it's the most known one. So I'm excited about that, to do that in October. Really excited to try a cruise. We grabbed lunch from a place called Jimmy's Takeout. We've been there, what, twice so far? It's been, it's been pretty good. I got a fish burger snack. This is what it looks like. They have to figure out a way to put the sandwich in without it looking like this. But there's the sandwich. So it's not too bad. They actually taste pretty good. And Nick got what you got? Uh, light off. I'm oh, sorry, yeah. current off special. The current off special? What is what is that consist of? You got a sandwich? Yeah. Oh, you got a cheeseburger. Carnival special. That's that's not a Carnival special. Uh, Let me see yours. No light special. It look good. And they give you a free soda. Ain't nothing free. You pay for that. Okay. 